What we've done now is we reconfigure our red multimeter here to read the voltage at the collector and then the voltage at the base. We've turned the emitter loading back down to zero and we currently have a maximum of one meg on the base on the on the base pot here. So we have eight microamps worth of base current. As you can see right now, because there's very little current flowing through the collector due to the small base current. Uh, most of the voltage is is being divided by the transistor rather than by the two emitters, I mean the two resistors that are loading the collector. And so we're seeing about 8 volts at this point where the yellow clip is clipped on in between the resistors and the collector pin. Now as we turn up, and it may be a little difficult to see, as we turn up the base current, what we're going to see is that that voltage that we're seeing at the collector goes down. So you can see that we're up to about uh, 200 microamps worth of base current and the, uh, the transistor is almost wide open now. It's almost saturated and the collector voltage has gone down to almost nothing because the resistors are now are now sinking most of the voltage and the resistance of the transistor is very low. As we go back to a small setting on the base current we're going to see that uh, that we have a base current of uh, 10 microamps here which is not very much and we've got 7.75 volts showing at the collector we're going to increase that to 20 and we've now got uh, about 6.5 volts if we go to 30 About 5.4. So we're seeing a uh, we're seeing a transimpedance of about 1.1 volts at the base for every 10 microamps worth of current that we send through. 1.1 volts at the collector for every 10 microamps that we send through the base.